You know, what is it that Canadians or these premiers are not hearing here? Because it, it's, it seems to me that, you know, it's not that difficult to all be on the same page about climate. Is it just your methods? Is it your strategy? Is it the way you communicate it? What do you figure it is? Uh, I think as conservative politicians don't understand the science behind climate change, which shows that we need to do more, um, nor do they understand the huge economic opportunity. If you take the case of Alberta, I mean, it's, it's interesting because you have here Jason Kenney saying free to pollute, but at the same time, the same energy companies that he says he wants to defend are saying put a price on pollution because they recognize in Alberta they need to have a serious climate plan if they're going to get the resources to market. Um, and the, the, the economy of the future does doesn't look like the economy of the past, but you've got you've got Jason Kenney, you've got Doug Ford, and you've got Andrew Scheer, who want to take us back to the time of Stephen Harper. They don't seem to think climate change is a serious threat. And meanwhile, we have forest fires already in Alberta that are that are you know a major concern to people's livelihood, to their lives. Well, that's Catherine McKenna uh, with a. Um a tapestry of all of her talking points together in one mishmash like that. That's quite something. But to me, the favorite point was, hey, CTV, there's forest fires already. And Jason Kenney hasn't even repealed the carbon tax yet. It's going to happen in a few hours. The forest fairies are mad. They're they're lashing out. It's and and to say that she is the party of science. Oh, my God. Catherine McKenna is the gift that keeps on giving. Joining us now from Edmonton to talk about it is our friend Lauren Gunter, se senior columnist with the Edmonton Sun. Now, I don't know, maybe I misheard or misinterpreted what she was saying, but I, I felt like she was blaming the annual wildfires of Alberta, which have been going on since time immemorial. I felt yeah. like she was blaming them, and especially their timing, on the fact that Jason Kenney was elected like this is some you know, Tolkien forest where the forests are, where the trees are saying, we must rise up against, you know, it, it, it felt so pagan. And yet she's yeah. the one invoking science. Well, I, I mean, I won't say you're wrong about that. I, I, I think probably what she's doing is simply regurgitating the, uh, the, the point that, that uh, politicized climate scientists make that, the uh, forest fire season is getting earlier and earlier every year because of climate change. It doesn't matter. Both of them are are unscientific. Whether she's she thinks that that Mother Forest is angry with us because we've gotten rid of the carbon tax, or or uh, you know that this is incontrovertible proof yet again of climate change. Uh, th there's two or three things she said in there that, that just make my eyes roll. One is, well, I don't think conservative politicians understand the science. I think they understand it better than she does yeah. because she. it's easy to regurgitate the, the, the mainstream scientific idea that climate change is already upon us. It's man-made. It's, it, it's irreversible. It's going to be horrible and damaging. It's another thing to try and understand. To, to, to take out the natural shift in climate, mm -hmm. in climate from from what might be or might not be man-made and how serious is it and what are the things we need. That's, that's much better. And I think more conservative politicians understand that because it's not easy to go to a cocktail party mm -hmm. and stand there – you know, swirling your, your Prosecco and say, well, I don't really believe that yeah. the, the climate is you know, that. So you have to be able to defend that. I think they understand that better. And the other thing that, that, you know, that she said is, well, Jason Kenney has to understand that he needs a climate plan if he's going to get his goods to market. Yeah, what have we been doing the last four years under Rachel Notley and, yeah. and Justin Trudeau? And how is that working out? Yeah. Like, you know, at the we got the carbon tax. We got the coal shutdown. We have all sorts of new regulations on the environment in Alberta. And every time we conceded, every time we caved in something to the environmentalists, they just upped the stakes. They moved the goalposts. They changed what they was that they claimed would satisfy them. So it, this is just horse hockey yeah. if you if you want that uh, that we we just continue following the same useless path we followed for four years and somehow it's all going to work out that's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant show every day I do a video monologue and then I interview an interesting guest and then I end by reading my hate mail but you've got to subscribe to it which you can do at the rebel.media slash shows